Hello beautiful people and welcome to another video. I hope you are all are having an amazing day and you are ready to continue with free code camp challenges, especially regular expressions. I've already done several videos with regular expressions, but I think that I'm going to continue with them as I have a few more challenges in order to finish with this chapter. Also, if this is your first time here, my name is Eleftheria and if you like this video, then just follow, like and subscribe. If you have any question, leave a comment and I'll do my best to answer it. Thank you and yep, let's start! So right now I'm in spam for check for all or none. Okay, sometimes the patterns you want to search or may have parts of it that may or may not exist. However, it may be important to check for them nonetheless. You can specify the possible existence of an element with a question mark. This checks for zero or one of the presenting element. You can think of the symbol as saying the previous element is optional. Hmm, okay, a bit tricky. For example, there are slight differences in American and British English and you can use the question mark to match both spellings. Okay, okay, now I got it. And I have this example here, okay. Change the regex, five regex to match both the American English favorite and the British English favorite version of the world. Okay, favorite. Let me go to the second line and then I will add the U and then probably the question mark and yes this will do the trick oh yeah let's continue with positive and negative look aheads look aheads are patterns that tell javascript to look ahead in your string to check for patterns further along this can be useful when you want to search for multiple patterns over the same string there are two kinds of look aheads positive look aheads and negative look aheads a positive look ahead will look to make sure the element in the search pattern is there but won't actually match it. A positive look ahead is used as question mark equal dot dot dot, where the dot 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 is the restricted part that is not matched. On the other hand, a negative look ahead will look to make sure the element in the search pattern is not there. A negative look ahead is used as question mark, exclamation mark this time, and not equal dot dot dot, where the dodge in the pattern that you do not want to be there. The rest of the pattern is returned if the negative look ahead part is not present. Quite a tricky one, I think. Look aheads are a bit confusing, oh yes, but some examples will help. Okay, and again we have these examples here. I will do the third line, Q regex q question mark equals u whereas in the fourth line i have the question mark and then the exclamation mark so in the first case here with the quid match q regex i have the q whereas in the no quid dot match which is this one again i will have the q Okay, so in this case I have the Q regex which is the with the exclamation mark, whereas in this case I have the Q which is with the equal and I want the quit which has the Q. Uh, okay, I think I got it is a bit confusing, but let's see what we have to do. Is look ahead in the PW regex to match passwords that are greater than five characters long and have two consecutive digits. Okay, I can see that here I also have an example with a password. The first thing that I will do, I'm not sure if this is uh, like the best practice, but I'm going to copy this one here. Okay, I will click on Control Enter just to see where we stand. And I can see in my console that your edge should not match 1, 2, 3 or 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, so again I will have the question mark equals then W. This is 3 to 5, as it says here, more greater than 5 characters, so it's not 6. 
and then I have again the question mark equals something that is no digits asterisk and then digits so again I'm going to hit control enter and see the results again okay uh, oh, sorry I don't need three it doesn't say anything about three but I only need five and yes this one was correct it wasn't actually as hard as I thought it would be uh, let's continue with one more like reuse patterns using capture groups and it says here in the second paragraph you can search for repeat substring using capture groups parentheses are used to find repeat substrings you can put the regex of the pattern that will repeat in between the parentheses. To specify where that repeat string will appear, you use a backslash and then a number. This number starts at 1 and it increases with each additional capture group you use. An example would be 1 to match the first group. Okay, and here in the second line I can see the example with W plus S for the space and 1 which is for the capture groups. Okay, uh, use capture groups in regex to match numbers that are repeated only three times in a string, each separated by a space. I'm going to copy the example and paste it in the second line. Okay. I will need this one, which is for the first. And I think that I will probably use the dollar sign which is for the last one then I will have to use the S and the one two times because actually it's one and two times here and it says to match numbers that are repeated only three times so I will have three numbers which means between them I will have two spaces for the two spaces I'm going to have S1 and S1 so it's like space and space then another thing that I see here is your edX should use the shorthand character class for digits. Here I have the W, but I know that D is for digits. And I have I will keep the plus uh, symbol because we want one or more. Let's hit Control Enter and see where we stand. And it was actually correct. So just remember to use the first and the last, which is the card and then the dollar symbol. And for the symbols, and uh, sorry, for the spaces, if you want two spaces, just use S1, S1. If you want more, uh, use the same pattern again. And then for digits, we have the D, whereas for W stands for both um, like A through Z and 0 through 9. If I speak too fast, just leave a comment and I will speak quite more slower. Okay, use capture groups to search and replace. You can search and replace text in a string using the replace on a string. The inputs for replace is first the regex pattern you want to search for. The second parameter is the string to replace the match or a function to do something. And again we have the example. In the third line we can see wrong text dot replace and then we have the silver regex and the blue which is the ones that um, we will replace so the silver will get blue and then we will see code comp replace we have the w the space and the w with two and one parameters which returns comp and code write the regex so that it will search for the string good then update the replace text variable to replace good with okie dokie okay so i will start with the second line and here I think that I only need like good and then in the third line I'm going to have the okie dokie okay and let's see if this is correct and it is yay remove white space from start and end Sometimes word space characters around strings are not wanted but are there. Again, true. The typical processing of strings is to remove the word space at the start and end of it. Yes, I get that. Write a regex and use the appropriate string method to remove word space at the beginning and end of strings. Okay, let's do this one. So, first let's go to the second line. Uh, sorry, 
again let's go to the second line and I think that first I have to use the pattern that it will be maybe something similar to this one uh, I will keep everything that it's inside the slashes so I'm just gonna copy and paste it over there but I will need to have something to start so I will have the current because I want to start with the word and I also want to end with a word okay so I will use the dollar probably okay so I have the the S for the space and I will use the asterisk because I can have zero or more after the asterisk I'm going to have a W plus because it's one or more and then I will have the S and this time the S will be with the asterisk because it can be zero or more then again I will have the W and this time the W will have an exclamation mark okay so we'll close the parentheses and after that I will probably need another S which is for spaces and an asterisk because I can have zero or more I'm not sure if this is correct so no it's not correct of course because I will also have to change the third line I should also have the replace text should be something like okie dokie okay so this one should be like this and then this one should be like this okay and this will be the last one and it says remove white space from start and end okay sometimes white space characters are in strings are not wanted but are there typically processing of strings is to remove the white space at the start and end of it write the regex and use the appropriate string methods to remove white space at the beginning and end of strings Note, the tree method would work here, but you'll need to complete the challenge using regular expressions. Alright, I'm going to only use the regular expressions, but I'm not very sure how to do that, so let's work on the second line. And I can see that the result has to be equal with hello world, so I guess that I will have to start and writing our space here which can be zero or more and I will also have uh, my parentheses inside the parentheses I know that you will have a W okay and I know that the W should be one or more then inside there I'm going to have the space and I know that this can be zero or more after the space I'm also going to have another W but this time this is going to have the plus symbol and an exclamation mark remember we did the exclamation mark uh, in the second video or so so if you don't remember this just go and check that video probably I will leave it in the description box so after the exclamation mark I will use the S again which is for the space but this time I want both the asterisks and the dollar symbol which is to which equals to the last okay so we have the card at first and then the the dollar symbol in the end then I'll go in the third line and I will have the hello and then as it says the replace and after the replace I'm going to have the WS regex and inside there I'm going to have the dollar and one which is the one that we saw in the um, previous challenge 
Okay, I'm going to hit Control Enter and see the mistakes. So the results should equal to Hello World. So I did something wrong. And let's keep working on them. Uh, okay, again, I, w I want to start with this and i'm pretty sure that this is correct so i'll have a current then a slash and an s an asterisk a w plus and then an s plus hmm i don't know really what's wrong with it but i'll have to think so after the exclamation mark i'm closing the parentheses i have my s with the plus not with a plus with an asterisk right and the dollar signal and i'm closing everything i don't think that uh, spaces will do the trick no results should equal to hell work and it doesn't so maybe it will need a comma right no but I will not use a space. Yes, so I didn't actually need any space. Okay, don't use spaces and you'll have that correct. Okay, guys, thank you very much for watching. This was the last video for this challenge. And if you did like this video, just please share and subscribe. It takes me a lot of time to record and edit this video. So it would mean the world to me if you liked it and probably subscribe also to my YouTube channel as I'm going to add more videos about Freak Outcome soon. Thank you for watching.